Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited about today's video because I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of my favorite things that I have here in my apartment and that is all of my house plants. Nick and I have been collecting house plants for close to two years now and I just love what they bring to our space. I feel like they make it really homey and just really light feeling. It's been really fun to experiment with the kind of plants that we like and the plants that work well together in our space and they're just really fun. So before I get into the tour, I want to share with you guys some really cool facts about houseplants. Um, so I've been reading this book in the new year called The Green Body Cleanse by Dr. Edward Group. And in this book, he not only talks about how to cleanse your body of harmful toxins, but to cleanse your space and your workplace from harmful toxins as well. And one of the ways that he talks about doing that is using houseplants. So I wish I could say that the reason I got into houseplants to begin with was because of this, but I really got into them because I love how they look and what they add to my space. But it's awesome that they also have these really amazing health benefits too. So we all know that plants absorb carbon dioxide and create oxygen. But what I didn't know until I read this book is that they also eliminate really harmful VOCs in your house. Formaldehyde is an example of a harmful VOC that plants can eliminate. And I think this is super important, especially now in the winter time because we're spending so much more of our time indoors. And a lot of times our indoor environment can be even more toxic than the outside. Because if you think about it, when you're inside in the winter, you don't have any of the windows open, everything's airtight, and so if there's toxins inside, they have no place to go, and you're just breathing them in all the time. So if you have a couple house plants, they can do a really great job at helping to eliminate these toxins. Plants can eliminate up to 87% of indoor toxins every 24 hours. So not only are they beautiful, they're also really important for your overall health. So without further ado, let's get into my favorite plants. So the first plant that I want to share with you guys is our fiddle leaf fig tree. So we got this about a month ago, it's one of our newer plants. I love the shape of it and how big and bright the leaves are. I think they look so pretty with the natural light coming through them. So when we first moved into this apartment, we got this huge fiddle leaf fig tree and it was so beautiful. But unfortunately, I killed it because I think I watered it too much. And since it was so big, it was really hard for me to take it outside to water to let it drain. It ended up just kind of sitting in its water. And I think that's what eventually killed it. Um, and also, I don't think it was getting enough, getting enough light in the spot that it was in. Um, because I didn't leave the windows open when I was gone to work. So it wasn't getting a lot of light during the day. Um, at least not as much as it needed. So I learned with that one and we got a smaller one this time and we have it right in front of the window with the shades facing down so that it gets a lot of really good natural diffused light throughout the day and I'm really good about when I water it um, to not let it sit in water to make sure that it drains all the way through. So fiddle leaf fig trees are really notorious for being super hard to take care of and really temperamental. Um, but this one has already grown two new leaves, so I'm hoping that it's happy where it is and that it stays alive this time. And the next one is actually the newest plant that I have. My sister gave me this one for Christmas, and I was so happy about it because I've actually been looking for this type of plant for a really long time and trying to figure out what the name was online, and um, she actually found this one for me at Ikea. It's this really cool kind of palm tree looking plant. And I've seen pictures of it online kind of when it's older and I love it because the um, kind of stems, the bottom parts of it, get kind of um, curvy and a little bit whimsical looking and I'm really excited to watch it grow and um, see how it changes as it grows. Into the kitchen, I have another one of those little palm trees, again, that I got at Ikea. And I just like how it adds some kind of color to this kitchen area. You guys will notice if you watch my videos that I'm constantly moving things in my house at all seconds. <laughs> I'll move plants around, I'll move furniture around, it's just what I do. So this one's in the kitchen right now. It used to be kind of over on the other side of the kitchen, but right now I like where it's at. I think it's cute by my little picture frames. The next plant that I have is kind of a funny one. Um, Nick actually picked this one out and I always make fun of him because it's the type of plant that you always see like in restaurants or like at the mall. He really likes it, so we have it here. 
Um, I have it in this little basket, but again, when I water it, I take it outside and make sure that it drains all the way through so that it doesn't get nasty in the little basket. Moving right along to one of my favorite plants. Um, this one I love because, one, my grandma gave it to me a couple years ago, and when she gave it to me, it was really tiny in a really small little container, and I actually just transplanted it into this kind of um, temporary, it's just a temporary um, plastic container, but I like it because it kind of, the green kind of blends in with the color of the plant, so it's not super obnoxious. Um, but I had it in a smaller container and it started getting kind of sad and even after I watered it the leaves wouldn't really stand up by themselves and then after I transplanted it it was super happy and grew really quickly after that and it's just so cool to watch the new leaves come up because they grow just like out of the stem of the old leaf it's just really cool to watch so I actually have a couple of these in my house. This is definitely the largest one and then I have this other one that is on a little makeshift plant stand. When we lived in Long Beach I had this one hanging in our kitchen but I think it's definitely a lot happier here because in Long Beach it was getting way too much sun so it was kind of droopy but now that it's just getting really nice diffused light it's a lot fatter and happier and that makes me happy. So there's that one, and then we also have this little tiny one that's like on this little stand that we have. And we also have one in our bedroom, just a little small one. So I think these plants, if I could recommend a plant for a new, a new, a plant newbie, it would definitely be this one. A tip that my grandma taught me, because my grandma is like an amazing green thumb person, stick your finger in the soil, and if it's dry, then water it, and if it's not, don't. So sometimes I can even go like a week and a half without watering it, and it's fine. It's just important not to overwater it. Speaking of not having to water a plant very often, we are to the rubber plant. This is another super easy plant, especially for people that don't think they can grow plants. I've had this one, um, again, since our old apartment, and it is so easy to take care of. It's great because it really doesn't need a lot of natural light, and I think since I've had this plant, I've only had two leaves fall off of it. Like, they're super hardy, and just really easy to take care of. And this one's actually growing a lot of little new plants underneath it. And I want to do some research and see if I can like, like take those and repot them so that I can give those to other people. Moving into the bathroom, I have this snake plant that I've had again for about two years. And I just repotted it and I think it's really happy in its new larger pots. And snake plants are super easy to take care of. Again, they don't need very much water. They don't need very much natural light either. And they kind of have a cool um, pattern on them and they're just kind of different than the other plants I have, so I like it a lot. And last but not least, I have this beautiful plant in my kitchen again. This plant has a lot of sentimental value for me because this is my grandma's favorite plant. And I just think they're so beautiful and the flowers are such a unique shape. They're just really pretty and I love having it in here because it reminds me so much of her. So something kind of cool about this too is that this container that it's in is just a gift box and the plant just fits perfectly in there in its little plastic container and I love how clean and modern it looks on my table and so when I water it I'm obviously just going to take it out of there and let it drain and then put it back in and I think it's perfect. And that's it. Do you guys have any houseplants? Please let me know what your favorite kind are in the comments below because I'm always looking for my next plant purchase idea. And if you like this video, please share it with someone that you think would like it too. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!